How the f*** do you make it through there any fa- Oh, you can definitely make it through faster if the door's already open. What the sh That's just fat- He just teleported! A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation and arrest- Okay, or I just fucking won't read any of it. After seeing that there were other empty tables in the restaurant, I said this to the man. I don't know which man we're speaking with. Oh wait, someone sat down at our table, I guess. Is there something I can help you with? He just continued, well, look, so here you are. You're graduating soon and clearly need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens we have a job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious job, a wonderful, wonderful one. Thank you, I have no interest. Do not refuse my offer in haste. Then he handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black with three letters printed SCP. Click to open the envelope. I really would love an options menu game. Congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you're the one we've been searching for. You'll assume the position of assistant archivist in the archive department, group three, Director Chuck Auer will be your superior. Please go to the security office of sector that thing, that symbol, on 8-13-2012 at 0900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. All right, can I have an options menu? Like, I would just like to be able to set up any kind of options whatsoever. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Hey, great. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peace um, has been affected. Those people looked like they were dying. No matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from. Oh, these are these poor fucking Class D personnel that have to be in the cells with the objects? Oh, this is going to be lore heavy. I'm certain that I'm, that all of this is, is like straight out of the lore and I don't recognize any of it. I have like really, really shallow knowledge of SCP lore. There's a very large person in that cell. Why do these look like they're all failing? Secure, contain, protect. This is just like uh, that movie Cabin in the Woods, where they press the button and they just release everything all at once. I also like how they have all these security guards with guns. Like guns are gonna do anything against most of the SCPs that actually exist. Like the guy that just touches you and you die instantly. Or the never-ending staircase. Hopefully, this is coming through clear. Hey! I'm the new guy! Unfortunately, this is a really bad job. I shouldn't have taken this job. This was a horrible, horrible idea. Friday, 9 p.m. Be there. Yeah, I guess I just gotta get my security card. I'm certain that nothing bad is gonna happen. Go. Scan. Go. Open. Swipe. There we go. Enter room 914. I don't really wanna do that. Okay, this is a horror game. We gotta remember. We gotta remember this is a horror game. So if we try to peek into a room, you know, just remember that this is a horror game and bad things might happen if we try to... Seems okay so far.
The sound effects leave a little bit to be desired, but... It just sounds janky. Uh, 914 is... Uh, this one. Oh, wait, I gotta line up the fingerprint. I've done it. Oh, this is a sick office, though. Dude, are you kidding? This office is aw- I would love to work in this office. What's in there? Is that something spooky? Is there a big spider in there? His name is Harry. I feel like there's a big spider in there. I don't want to go near it. I don't know. I don't like having that in my office. Can I sit in the chair? Oh, there we go. Initiate- Okay, that's gone. Verify login. There, Carl Astana. 525-1989, MIT Archive Department. Perfect, that's me. You have access to classified and top secret archives. Please be uh, confirmed that you're aware of all confidentiality clauses. Yep, that's me. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Before starting your work, please allow us to introduce you to the software used in the archive department. This is kind of neat. I don't know what's going on here, but I like this little menu. Each day, your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. Where there's a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Communication within the site relies primarily on, primarily on the instant messages system. Okay. Um, training is an effective means of information sharing within the foundation. You must participate in the new employee training. Okay. The page shows public information of all sites around the world. Okay. This concludes the introduction. Critically endangered species have been discovered in a Guatemalan sinkhole one after another. Foundation agents believe it may be related to the previous escape of SCP-994. SCP-994? SCP-994. So if you guys are not familiar, um, SCP lore is so fucking vast, there's no way you're gonna read them all. But if you type in SCP numbers, like 994, it will take you on your phone or on the internet to a page that will tell you about it. Um, SCP-994 is to be contained within a remote 50 square kilometer, kilometer area in Northwest Washington state with housing provided within hangars three, four, five, six, and eight at site 410. Um, so apparently SCP-994 is an airborne SCP. I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, let's do this. How'd the mission go, Gant? Did the information... Okay, everyone is talking pretty fast. Can I respond? I can't stand... Okay, everyone is... Ev okay, hi. I'm here. I'm a new member. Can I talk? Oh, uh, hi, friends. Good morning. I wish I could type myself. Because I would type something way different. That's me. A happy face. I like his little, I like his picture. Uh, I guess MIT isn't popular. It's just all these prestigious graduates. And the <laughs> Carl, don't listen again. I'm not. Who's Jonathan? Who's Jonathan? Who's Jonathan? Graduated from a Harvard or Stanford or whatever. You guys watch Rick and Morty? You're all full of it. You think you can just be... Okay, this guy... The tragedy he went through... Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. What is SCP-247? SCP-247. No one wants to talk about these cartoons. Right, Rick and Morty, it was just an accident. Accident? Who cares? I mean, I care. He was just a, he was another prestigious graduate. I'm going to replace archive with relief station. Rick and Morty's not a children's cartoon. If any of you guys are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please shut the hell up. 
Focus on your work. Yeah, Chuck. There's a file for Zoe. Got it. That's for Zoe. Zoe's gonna be doing... Zoe's gonna be doing some work. Oh, there's Gint's project. What about me? Stuart? No, what about me? Carl. Carl needs the project. Class A art. Okay, so they said that he touched SCP-247. Um, <laughs> and he lost his hand. SCP-247 is a Bengal tiger, which to all observers appears to be a harmless cat with orange and black striped coat resembling that of a tiger. So he went to go pet a cat and he got his hand eaten off by a tiger. What should I do? In the archives department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify, but no need to hurry. Okay, should I do training? You'll need to attend the new employee onboarding. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on that. I'm ready for a meeting. Hey, Director Hour. I'm honored. Ugh. Yeah, why don't you hold on to that? Th this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start it in from zero. Understood, Director Hour. New employee onboarding will be hosted by Dr. Ham. You will suffer, Carl. I suggest you prepare a paper bag for the vomit. Do you, you have no idea what you'll be doing, do you? Move it! Oh, he's mad. All right, I get it. Can I go do the training? Remember, Carl. Stay sane and always in awe. Oh, they're in training. I want to join. Okay, I'm joining, a tr I'm joining a training call now. Excluding mimetic influence. Training is about to begin. Oh, 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 okay. This is Jason like... Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. This is like a pretty high production game. Jason Carter is now D-503. That's not good. I don't want to be Jason Carter. Class D personnel never live. Bad things always happen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. No. I don't want to this. I don't want to be... I don't... I don't want to be a Class D personnel. They don't live. Class D personnel don't live. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nothing. Yeah. Day one Class D personnel. Here we go. This will be my last day. D-503 was given no clear instruction task to be completed. Uh, he must find them out for himself. Okay, that's really cool. But there are things that are appearing on my radar. Are they getting closer? No. Oh, I gotta go collect this stuff. Alright, this is... This is certainly unusual, but I'm into it. Damaged petrol tank. Okay. All right, so far nothing bad. Seems like it's gonna happen. Like there, there's a big question of where even am I? A discarded tire. There's like a huge question of where are we? And we may very well have already gone through 
like an SCP doorway or a portal of some kind. And so this may not even be on earth. Damage 10 drum. It's just a damage 10 drum. All right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What's, well, I got no traction. Car, car stuck, car stuck. Okay, the physics are freaking out a little tiny bit. And then my truck, wait, 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 there we go. The truck, okay, it's really, I cannot turn left anymore. Okay, I don't think this is part of the SCP. I think this is just, okay, I can no longer, uh, all I can do is go right. Okay, wait, I fixed it. I reset my car. I actually think there was some weird physics things happening with the car still. I don't think it was just the weight. But here we are. Because my wheels were freaking out. Probably you don't want to drive the whole truck in. Please pull down the lever to confirm. Uh, yeah. Pull down lever. Incinerate. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, listen, I never said my class D personnel or myself were smart. They hire Class D personnel because they're in bad situations. D-503's first day of work. And last day of work. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Right, because we interacted with an SCP. We had to have. We had to have because they only do psych evaluations with Class D personnel after interacting with an SCP. Start test. I need to fill the whole square area. Okay, that probably goes there. That probably goes there. That. I have done it. Oh God, I'm not, I'm not very good at these. That there, this here. Da -da -da -da. Hey, that's me, 41 seconds. Someone did it in 19 show off. Uh, is that, oh, 29 days. I would like food now. Can I have a hamburger? Hey, thanks. That's a great looking hamburger that you just tossed onto the floor. That is less great. Is that an onion? Still delicious. I got an achievement called Still Delicious. I would like to sleep. Oh. Wait a second. What is this? What is that? What is this right there? Suspicious. This was the first day D503 psychological data was collected. Uh-huh. You're probably wondering, how can this job... No, I'm not wondering. I know. For a death row inmate. I know how this job can earn freedom. It's bad. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. I knew it. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 7457 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? No questions. Dr. Ham, 
I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's Will, a question, what a stupid fucking question. Phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled Some anomalies, anomalies are not going to be humanoid. Human anomalies. Idiot. Regional anomalies. Jesus. Anomalies, and various other phenomena. Get off the call, control. Will. The work of the foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay. Next question. Hello, Dr. <clears throat> Hem. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage. In I was, yeah, that was me. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Right. Okay, let's move on. Okay, day eight. So now weird shit the should be happening. It was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. Oh, I like that. I like how they're setting you up to know that something is something weird is going to happen now on this day. That's neat. Ready. Let's have a look at what happened. Let's have a look at what happened. Let's take a real good look at what happened. Oh, it's nighttime. I want to collect all of the waste. See, my truck is already acting funny and I don't have any waste in it at all. I think the drive-in physics are just wonky. Uh, the surface of the barrel is corroded and the liquid inside is highly corrosive. Got it. A weird chest. Broken air conditioner. All right, broken air conditioner. Wait, the truck has an SCP logo on it, like SCP Foundation logo. So more than likely the truck actually is not an SCP. It's really just the desert. What is that? Uh-oh. Something just left this here. We shouldn't touch that. A black spindle. A spindle of thick black cable that's wound too tightly to see what's inside. It's much heavier than it looks and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Wow, that was crazy heavy. Our truck is overloaded by almost two times. Oh, that was a sick, oh, 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 we're good. Nailed it. So that black spindle is 110 kilograms. All right, incinerate. D503 had completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first. I mean, our vision was, you know, getting a little funky. So he must have realized something was up because that was unusual. Let's take a psychological test. Level two. Please select three pictures with a triangle. 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 All right, I've done it. I will continue. Select three pictures that the calculation results are equal to five. That's five. That's five. Confirm. I really like how it did. So there's us. I guess there are 10 other, there's 10 people, I guess, that they're looking at. 
Well, maybe there's more, but there's at least 10. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that weird. Wait, do I not get food? I would like my hamburger, please. Can I have my hamburger? This is baloney. That night, D-503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Like, what are we talking? Analysis tells us that D-503 is dreaming. No, thank you. Though, we have no way of knowing. I don't want to play his dream. I have no desire to play his dream, thanks. It's gonna be spooky. He was out on the ocean? He dreamed of a bunch of mountains. He dreamt of a telephone booth on the top of a mountain. That's neat. I really like the setup of that scene. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? This is really cool. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations... Don't ask some dumbass questions, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks okay, when there that's are already a fairly psychological good evaluations taking place? Okay. <clears throat> Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our <laughs> world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. Okay. By assigning these tasks to D-503, <clears throat> we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating Spencer, the sit down. A minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Yeah, Spencer should be fired. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Doesn't sound like Good. you do. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Oh, God Due damn it. the conditions that day. We were only <clears throat> able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. So that means we didn't make it back it to go to sleep? A bad day. Perhaps the worst. Oh, no. Even for a death row inmate. Oh, no. That's, I don't, I don't have a lot of exciting feelings going into day 15 when you describe it as the worst day, even for a death row inmate. Whose tracker is this? D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. There's a lot of abrasion as well as the handle. It's not working. D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. I'm thinking much of it! I'm fucking out of here. Nah! I'm not gonna fall victim to your SCP scam. I'm taking my dump truck and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Never to come back. Another one of these, which is bad. I don't want to touch it, but here we go. 
Wait, can I see in it? No. A spindle of... Yeah, it's very heavy, and it's another spindle of black weird cable. I'm sure nothing bad will happen on my way to the incinerator. So what bad thing happens now? Because obviously something bad... Can I just leave? We got... Yeah, we got a bunch of garbage. Okay. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. It didn't... Still managed to complete his work on day 15. I mean, it doesn't really seem like there was anything perverse psychological react. But then he encountered an incident. No, he did not. No, he did not encounter an incident. No, the fuck he did not. A sandstorm. Oh. Well, that's hardly like even that bad. How bad could a sandstorm? five oh three walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. What? Well, yeah, when you stick me out in the middle of nowhere, if you had just given me control right away, I'd have been able to find it. Oh, well, it's right there. Look, I did it. Nothing out here seems that bad, besides the fact that we're in a sandstorm. It's just dusty. D503 managed to find a site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. Why doesn't he just he was not familiar with Oh no. This is not what I want. Who is that? Are they going to get up and run after me? Because I do not need that in my life. Hello? Oh, there's the phone booth on the top of the mountain. Oh, oh, I'm there. Oh, yeah, it's ringing. Oh, no, hold on. It says lie, and I think that guy is dead now. This game is kind of like watching a movie. This is really well done. The only other things they could have written there are like dead, death, check. Oh, look at all his radars. He's radar rich. Wait, his head is, is, is a vacuous cavern. Do not look into the cavern. Oh, those are weird cables. Is personnel D502 still alive? The red phone booth. Do we answer it? Who's in the phone book? That's what I want to know. And if we press coin release, do we get coins? Dude, what? Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? Dude, all the time. People call me all the time. And I don't want to talk to them. Oh. Approximately 13 hours later, we immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Uh-huh. We have to assess our current mental state. Please. Major fluctuations can now be observed. Wait, I didn't even. Hold on. I'm, I can't do the test. Are my hands going to turn into weird tentacles? Hold on, I didn't do the test yet. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Yeah, break the door. Yeah. What do I do now? Hold them on. Was able to break away from the foundation's oh. control. What? I'm out of here. I'm out! That's right. None of the level D personnel oh. at SCP-7457 have ever been able I'm gonna to leave the desert. I'm out of here. 
Wait, this is exactly, this is exactly what they want to happen. They're like, yeah, on day 16, he broke out of the facility, hopped in the truck and just drove it across the desert. We did exactly what the game wanted us to do. Oh, I'm not driving. Oh, okay. I would have driven better than that, though. Oh, no. Are we in the desert at night? No, I found a city. Uh, what? Yo, this. Excuse me? The call? No, the fuck I did not. I love this often believe that their fate is in their own hands. Because it is. That all choices come from their own free will. Because it does. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast. So desert. the the subtitle wrote, we are significant as, but it should have been insignificant as. Oh, there's, it's the phone booth. I had been hearing the call from the phone booth, but it looks like that phone booth is attached to an octopus that I don't want to go near. Or a Cthulhu. There's cables all over. And the phone receiver's floating, which is unusual. Can I, can I go answer it? Oh, it has a lot of receivers. That's, that's too many, that's too many phones for one booth. No phone booth needs six. You can't make six calls at the same time. Oh, oh, I'm getting wrapped up. I think we got wrapped up. And then we get picked up by the next guy. So those red, though, I mean, those black cables, they were the other personnel that tried to follow the ringing phone. And then they got burned. But, like, they were probably long dead by that point anyway. Like, you're not going to survive in a desert, whether it's an SCP desert or not. Forty-eight days later, experiment participant D-722 found the radar that it belonged to D-503. The radar was 31, 31 miles, miles. waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. Uh -huh. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. So stop sending people. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. Stop sending people. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you. Some may drive you crazy. And some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are. They don't care. How accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants 
when confronted with these anomalies. Well, that's why I'm not going to go near this. them. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. Don't take risks. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. <sighs> Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. Welcome to the Foundation. I'm Dr. Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. So, like, some anomalies are actually really, or can be positive? Add comments. Um, the course was arranged appropriately. I thought so. Lecture seemed qualified. The connection uh, was smooth. Notice of the meeting was punctual. Absolutely not. Um, good. It helped me realize that, it, yeah, I could be in Sinho. I only saw a Boy Scout instructor scaring a rookie. Yeah. No, it definitely helped, I think. Thank you for your feedback. Oh, that was an hour long. So, um, there are some SCP that do very positive things. There are some that, like, will heal you. There's one that's a bowl of candy. And as long as, like, you only eat one piece of candy, you're fine. Um, there's all sorts of interesting ones. I feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you're welcome to join us. What are we doing? We're having a little get-together, having a little lunch. Past hour's been torture. I don't know how I managed to hold on. I jumped off a cliff, I fell into the icy water and choked. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of visiting any cliffs or waterfalls, but it was all so real. I can even taste it in my mouth, the foul taste of the river. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Wait, we, like, experienced that? That's weird. We, like, experienced it firsthand, I guess? I wonder if we are a Class D personnel, and this is all part of one big SCP. Uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Friends. That's for Zoe. What do I get? What do I get? Can I have something to do? Stuart. How about Carl? Field work? No, no, no. We don't do field work. Uh-uh. I'm ready for a new job. Let's do it. Good. Yeah, that's me. First mission. Got it. Ready. Review the archives and organize them according to the requirements. I'll do my best. Okay, I knew that. Good luck. Just one thing, MIT boy. Dan, you're such an asshole. Follow the regulations. I can do that. This reminds me of my first mission. Wubba lubba dub dub! <laughs> Uh, that guy really likes Rick and Morty. I got a file. Okay, today's mission. Got it. Here we go. Let's focus. Let's focus up. Inner data regarding the investigation reports into the archive system on the right. Method of operation. Click text with red underline. After clicking the data, uh, after clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive. Okay, let's. <clears throat> I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Marvelous. Welcome to the 17 months. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station. Pony Station. Contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter like Pony Station and the retrieve die. the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. What is this? Oh, shit. 
So is this whole game gonna be from the perspective? The whole game is like us as an archivist is organizing, listening, watching all these different tapes and recordings. But we're actually playing as the people in the archives or trainings. That's kind of a neat way to do a game, honestly. I'm Bella. Bella, me. Me, Bella. Apparently, I'm not feeling super great. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long you stay away from No questions. I'm not taking... I don't know where the black box is. I had it in my hands just a second ago. Out with it. Where is the black box? I don't know. Huh? I, I... I just had it. I could have sworn I just I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. I was in the elevator. No, that that's impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I where I shit in my head. Oh, tinnitus. All right, here now. This isn't an interrogation. We're not here to lay blame or point any Okay, but you are laying blame and you are pointing fingers. Bella I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. It blew up. My, my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll take it slowly, step by step. Let's go back to the beginning. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. Yeah, let's go back to the beginning and I'll play through it. It'll be very spooky. I'll try. First, I was in the lab. That night. Sorry, that night I was in the lab. Currently heading to mission site site. In the car. Sorry. Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. SCP-701. Okay, hold on. Containment breach SCP-701. SCP-701. Oh no! Don't like that photo. SCP-701, The Hanged King's Tragedy, is a Caroline Era revenge tra tragedy in five acts. Performances of the player associated with sudden psychotic and suicidal behavior among the observers and participants, as well as the manifestation of a mysterious figure. Oh, good. Oh, good. What is my mission? Don't go into fucking pony station. No. No, we shouldn't do that at all. Got it. I just saw the photo of what 701 looks okay. like. I've arrived. No, thank you. Oh, dude, fuck this. Can I leave? Okay, so this game this game does a bunch of stuff really well, right? First off, the voice acting is really good. I don't mind the voice acting at all. Secondly, the way they've set up their narrative where you are playing as the archivist and you're diving into all this footage and whatnot and you get to experience it firsthand is super cool. Third, if you are doing what I'm doing, right, and you're looking up all the SCPs, you get like a little glimpse of what you're walking into before you get there, which is really spooky and also really cool. I'm able to observe the mission site from here. But it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site-74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. 
After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Uh -huh. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies. Safe level. But recently, it's also taken over SCP-701. SCP-701 is not safe level. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. Oh, Got God. It. I'll complete the task as instructed and retrieve the black box. A device capable of measuring the humes of an area and calculate the reality bending rate in real time. Reality anchor. A device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas. One of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area. Y blocker. 60 milliliters per injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically. Black box. The Polaroid photo of a black cube. There's a phone number. Is that a real phone number? 331-584-6951. That looks like a real phone number. Okay, hold on. I can't actually switch anything. It says press A and D to switch item, but that doesn't do anything. Okay, well, I'll just assume that I have the rest of that stuff. How about a flashlight? I 0% want to go check out SCP-701. I've just entered Pony Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. Fuck. The 7th floor. Sparrow. Musk. What's that? Bald Eagle. Not You're good. Out. Damn. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. Reality anchor. Okay. Much better. Now let's find that elevator. This is so cool. And also so fucked up. Oh. I got an Ohio issued 25 cent coin. Okay, that's mine, I guess. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for 701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he have planned? Does he not realize what he's up against? This whole thing's turning out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was wrong. This holds great potential. I still believe that. I'll have to adopt... Okay, great. So someone else... Bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. Okay, I need a key. This music is creeping me out. All personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence is uh, uh, prohibited. If you cannot be on duty due to special circumstances, shall promptly coordinate with this uh, relevant site director. All personnel shall comply with the prescribed regulations. All personnel on duty fill out the inspection form truthfully and correctly. Uh huh. Spare key to room 101 placed under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. Cool. Whoa. Oh, there was a mannequin attached to a rope in that locker. Still not as scary as that fucking thing in the hallway after the xylophone in that other game that we just played. I half expected, like right as I was about to open that locker, a thought went through my head that was like, there's probably something spooky in this locker. What? There was definitely some noises back there. Cool, we have some ambiance. What do we got? All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is there. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where. They've taken over my laboratory accordingly. And Dr. Cooper, or whatever his name is. Or whatever his name is. He puts on airs every time the operation starts as if everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. Yeah. We're gonna let him know who the real boss is. 
Setting resource request form. Palace, forest, monastery, banquet hall. Yeah, these are all plays. These are all play locations. Ooh, very spooky. So we... We obviously don't die because... You know, we've seen the end of this. But that doesn't mean that horrible, horrible shit isn't going to happen to us. This music is super good, too. Very scary. I like it. Oh. Oh! I get to control... Oh. I don't know if you guys have ever had the chance, probably not, right? To play on a scissor lift. A scissor lift is one of those things that has wheels and it has like a little cart that you stand in and the cart just drives and then it just goes up and down. They are so much fun to drive around and play with the thing going up and down. It's like, you probably shouldn't play in them, but I did when I had the chance. Oh, there's a mannequin. Why is there a mannequin? Again, this game is really well done. Dude, the mannequin disappeared. And there's two people or mannequins sitting there. That's a really, that's really cool. Like, nothing about any of this area is given. I know that... This must be the elevator. To the seventh floor, then. I know that one of these times I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be a fucking mannequin or something awful. Because this game is so far so well done, they're not gonna do bullshit scares. It's gonna be a targeted... I bet. Oh! Uh, we shouldn't have read that. Uh, use the- use the shot! Uh, Do the shot! Uh, yeah, we shouldn't be here this bad. Is that my hand? Oh. Oh, okay. We're telling we're telling the story. I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. Nothing like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. Like the mannequin we saw? Weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, That does sound terrifying, but perhaps it was just a nightmare. Not a nightmare. I just lived it. Definitely not. No. We wake up from nightmares. Not from this. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Listen to my story. This is my story. Just like the intro to Final Fantasy X. We're going to have a campfire. Riku's going to be there. Lulu. Waka. The, the tiger. Uh-oh. Reality anchor. There's mannequins. Which I'm not super thrilled about, but let's go. I guess I'm taking the stairs. Uh, I would, but it's locked. There is so much motion blur in here. Oh, we're hitting lag because it's trying its hardest to do this. It just doesn't like this room. To be totally honest. Can we just turn off? Ultra performance. Oh, dude. We should have just turned on ultra performance. That did actually help. Oh, that seems like 701. Whoa! What the? That was... Yep, that seemed 
like 701. Hey, can I have that? Duke Sortino, the chains of fate coil like a poisonous snake. It's not only me they seek to entangle, but also you. The curse before death is frightening. Petruc Petruccio, Petruccio, get this meddler out of my sight. Let dead men remain speechless. It sends the noose and strangles his neck. So everyone, everyone is becoming a performer, I guess, in this play. Alice, Al, Ali King, Ali, my king, does that say my king? Help, help. Blood of my king, blah, 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 my king, blood, my king. Pedir, pe man, if you guys are going to write shit in blood on the walls, at least make it legible. I can't read any of this shit. Oh, here's another sheet of paper. If the lies of the monarchy were be recorded in a book, the archivist would never know a moment's rest and would evidently become overburdened with fatigue. Made Beatrice. Empress, Lord Antonio is here. Isabel, what is that you say? My estranged son? Why would he come to see me in the convent? Go get me my very best dress at once and prepare a glass of poisoned wine, as you say. What sad truth. The dice rolls with lies and bears my name and the martyr under this conspiracy shares my own flesh and blood. No, thank you. What just happened? I don't actually know what happened because it lagged for just a second, but I think the mirror exploded. What? So this part of the game is like extra spooky. My choices are to get into the vent. Do I have other choices that are not that? Do I have a choice that is not the vent? Which is not my favorite series of things. But we'll do it. Hope there's nothing bad in the vent. That would be tragic. This cognito hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? No. The situation here is much more serious than I expected. Not a single thing. Jesus, you're stupid. Could the Cognito Hazard and all this weird shit happening have anything to do with the SCP that we were trying to fuck with here that we shouldn't have fucked with? Nah, that's not possible. One has nothing to do with the other, obviously. How stupid are you? Like, the answer's obviously very stupid. I wonder if all these mannequins are actually people that got turned to mannequins. Act three, person A. Gonzalo, Antonio, Alinda, Francisco, Isabella, Petruccio, Petruccio, Sortino, Atellis, scene. Ballroom, convent, act description. Gonzalo kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chef to make a stew from his body. The witness's daughter, Alinda, is then placed in the convent. Antonio and his squire enter the convent to confront their queen. She tries to kill Antonio, but he sees through her plan. She's left to suffer the consequences as Antonio and his squire evacuate the monastery. They encounter the imprisoned Alinda. So I need um, five more pages of the script. Ah! Oh, they're all sitting here, like, working. Act 2, Person A, Gonzalo, Antonio, Isabella, blah, blah, blah. To cover up the truth, Gonzalo orders the arrest of three men who witnessed the queen's confession and imprisons the queen in the convent. Gonzalo then goes to have a secret meeting with Ambassador Algada. After learning of the queen's captivity, Antonio begins to plot his revenge. You did that one already. Hit me with a new one. Don't actually, because I'm I'm used to that one. Let's check. Um, mail. Recently, former assistant of Dr. Tyler Cooper, Miss Lisa Amanda, was demoted because of her refusal to carry out experiment orders given by Dr. Cooper. On the 16th of, she was injected with Class A amnest amnestics, amnestics, and sent away from the site. 
To fill this role at the behest of Dr. Cooper, site management has decided to promote you to the role of senior experimental assistant. Okay, is there going to be something above the computer, I bet, when we back out of here? No. I really thought there I would have. If I was making, if I was making a horror game, I'd have put a scare right there and I'd have made, I would have made a mannequin's face like right above, right above that PC so that as soon as you backed out of it, boom, scare, you'd never expect it. It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. I've heard that Cooper and his team are rehearsing a script into a play and that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on it. It's not right. It's not I right. To the minister and inform him of the malpractice going on here. Who's there? Who's there? Oh. The Haunted King's Tragedy. Discs. Videotapes. There's a knife. Okay, well, that was very exciting. I got a handle. Now I can move the, uh... Oh, there's a save. But I can't interact with. The mannequins are... Gone, question mark? Okay, well, one of them is gone. Uh, yeah. That good? Probably not quite. That's probably more like it. Oh. At most, at first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating, but after distributing some SCP-701 documents, they become widely circulated and the number of people coming to sign up increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it, but it's welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate, every single person. It's my chance to prove myself. <clears throat> so... So I've never gotten into SCP games before because most of them all seem really silly. Like, hey, you run around the really standard SCP lab and you just try to escape and you kind of encounter some. But this game is so well done. It is so well done the way that they introduce you to the different lore. And it's it's like a narrative within a narrative within a like you play as it's just really cool. It's really well done. Oh, there's rats. I bet some people are really freaked out by rats and like just the ra Just the rats being in the vent is enough to scare them. That vent noise was really loud. Finally, luck is on my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be so quick to believe that luck is on our side, you know? I wouldn't be super quick to... Rehearsal notice. The Hang King's tragedy. Sacrifice everything. First group rehearsal. Conference room. Second, warehouse. Final, uh, 705. Seventh floor. So the final group performance is on the seventh floor where we need to go. Wait, did that open? No. I bet you there's a scared... Wait, what? I thought, why am I, is this like a basement seventh floor? What the hell is going on here? Bad. What in the fuck is going on? What the fuck? This is the fifth floor. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what 
What? Oh god, this game is doing it super well. What the fuck? This is the fourth floor. This is where I came in from. This says four. I went up. Still says four. That says six. I don't know what it has to do with the clocks. Hold on. This says sixth. Then I go up and that says fifth. Hold on. Document wasn't there. So there's first, second, and final rehearsal. Second rehearsal is at 11, 11 a.m. So what if I set this to 11, 11? And then what if I go down to whatever the fuck this floor is? This one is nine, nine what? 9 p.m. on the dot. It dings to let you know that it's correct. This is the fourth floor. We keep going down. And we get to the fifth floor somehow. This last rehearsal's at 7.46 a.m. And then seven, and then suddenly it's the seventh floor. That's the sixth. My computer's eating shit. It just loaded in an entirely different map. It's loading in so much shit right now. Can I go all the way up to the first now? This is fifth. This is fourth. Hold on. Can I go up now? Is this third? Oh, there's now a... Yeah, look at that. Oh, I can't jump in here. Huge bummer. So I obviously do have a key card for that, but what's lower than that? The eighth floor. Look, this is silly because I could just hop over this and keep going. Is our character really short? I think our character's average height. I've never seen such a Oh! We're back in reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Probably dead bodies. I assume. Okay, so in one of the scripts... Weren't they going to make a stew out of one of the people? Gonzalo kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chef to make a stew from his body. I think the mannequins are real people. Or people who have been turned into mannequins... ...by the SCP or something. Don't do that. Don't put your face up against that. Oh, those are people. Those are actual people. Those are actual real voice. What void? I serve my king with my blood. Blissful segregation. Tell us what it's saying. No, 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 no. Bella. Oh. Bella, are you feeling better now? No. Suffocation. Like a rope. No breathing. No, Don't give a fuck tight. if I cut my arm bleeding. Weightless. Hanging. Nothing around me. Just my feet. Right, so the at the end of this play. Fighting. 
All the people killed themselves. They hung themselves. Ella, you are completely safe here. Nope. Nothing can hurt you. Nope. Okay. Let's continue. I don't feel safe at all. It was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. I, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. I wonder if we're even actually in that, um... This is Sparrow, 09868. If we're actually in that, Eagle. in that hospital. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. Much worse. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? No. What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. Is that not what happened? What are you talking about? I was pretty sure that's... You never made that phone call. Okay. I, of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... But I saw... Oh, we saw that guy. Oh, that guy. And now I think we have to run. Time to time to go. Okay, it's time to run. I don't what, what the fuck? Punch him, punch him, Bella. How the fuck do you make it through there any fa- Oh, you can definitely make it through faster if the door's already open. What the shit? That's just fast. He just teleported. What do you- What do you want me to do? Oh my god! He just- Is my game broken? I'm actually not sure what the problem is. What the fuck? This is so janky. He obviously can just teleport. I don't... I don't know what kind of janky weird shit was happening there. But, like, he just kept teleporting down the tunnel, and he was just suddenly on top of us. And I think the game was trying to keep the enemy, like, really close behind you, but it just kept killing me for some unknown reason. And I don't, I don't really know why. Looks like something bad happened here. Oh, yeah? Bella, is that really your fucking assessment of the situation? Grand. Way to go. Electricity needed. Really well done. Uh, let's see. The experiment was a multi-object project, including SCP, blah, blah, blah. It's all redacted. Um, research in the process of reality distortion. The project lasted for five days. Uh, we can do, uh uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Within a short period of time, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of immersion state, and on the fourth day claimed being in a primary forest. The trees here are mainly sequoia and pinus carabae. On the same day, the hume level surrounding environment was decreased to 37. On the fifth day, the described scene began to invade reality, causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing. There are no further investigation reports concerning the area. They believe the primary influence by the reality distortion effects, and thus can be considered its creation, blah, 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 dash one. More documents if you want to read more about it later. I do see the trees. 
That is interesting. But I have no power. And I'm not sure how to get power. How do I get power? How does one power? How does one... How does one make power? The game just saved. I don't like that. The game just saved, which means the game is probably going to kill me in a second. That creepy guy with the chains that looked kind of like Anima from Final Fantasy X was running around. Um, on April 27th, five students were involved in a collective blank incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts Drama Club. And another faculty member died of stab wounds. A janitor was taken into custody as the suspect. His statement mentioned that four students used the blank from ceiling during rehearsals. This was then repeated by the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. It was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing the crime. He's currently undergoing further observation. Did they all hang themselves? That's what I assume happened, but I can't... It's hard to be sure. My door shut. Oh, can I hop on the computer for more email diving? I like how, by the way, like we get chased by the guy in chains. The situation is obviously awful, but she's like, let me just log on real quick to read a few emails. In order to prevent the dissemination of classified information, all video surveillance equipment has been removed and all external signal transmission have accordingly been blocked. The site will be under closed loop management procedures until the conclusion of the experiment. At present, the experiment is still needed uh, more participants. Okay, they needed more people and they weren't allowed to talk to anyone. All right, see, they shut this door on me, which makes me think that right on the other side of this door is now something bad. How much do you guys want to bet that there's something not good on the other side of this door? Ha! Ah! The mana queens are gone. For now. What? Are they in the lockers? Or in the vents? Mannequins are playing a spooky game. Nothing bad has ever happened in a stairwell. Okay. Thank you for the directions, I guess. Oh! Oh, he just fell to pieces. Caution, caution, caution. The experiment involves relevant content. That is a lot of warnings that I should probably read before walking in here, but... Oh, this is gonna be like zero. Five percent. Yeah, there's so many mannequins in here. I'm really wondering if... Oh, do they all fall over when we get close? They all ragdoll when we get close. You know what? I bet... Where the fuck did that go? Oh my god. There's a million mannequins up there. I bet one of these mannequins when we get close is not just going to collapse. I bet they're doing this so you walk really close to all of them. But I'm... Wait, are they standing back up? Oh my god, they do. If you look away from them, some of them stand back up. That's freaky. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Act 5. At the banquet, Antonio bursts in and confirms Gonzalo's murderous crime as well as his own lineage. Gonzalo is deposed by an angry group of ministers. Instead of killing Gonzalo, Antonio exiles him to the convent. Antonio then orders his squire to plan his wedding with Alinda... And the play ends with a dance by the group of courtiers. Nothing seems necessarily super duper bad in here. There is a card there that looks important. Yeah, 
Yeah, you see, all the mannequins are standing back up. So you have to be a certain distance away, and then they stand back up. Which is really unsettling. This is so cool. I hate it. But this... This is like the kind of horror game that I enjoy a lot. It's like entirely story-based. You're actually being taken through. There's a lot of lore. It's obviously story-rich. It's not just about, you know, slamming something against your screen with a super loud noise. It's like, it's tense, but you get to soak in like the really spooky atmosphere. This is what horror games should be. Like this, this is it. There are so many touches in here that are just so, like, they could have just put mannequins in here, right? They could have put a mannequin in here and, it, like, it jumps out and it scares you or it falls from the ceiling. But instead, they put mannequins that just crumble when you get near. And then when you turn back around, they stand back up. Like, that is just, like, it's, like, just a minor twist. But it really makes it so much better. Oh, this is the final act, and that's the black box. Interesting. Like, everything, everything about this so far is really top notch. The black box. The black box. Okay, all the music went away. So I'm assuming we're going to grab that black box and we're going to have to sprint out that back door. I don't want to, I don't want to touch it. Obviously nothing good's going to happen. Why? How many things am I missing? Oh, I missed a lot actually. Surprisingly, I missed one document two research logs, three scripts, and some kind of collection. Let's grab it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Is this the part where I have to sprint? Oh, the eighth floor. Hold on, don't want to miss anything. Don't want to miss anything. They could, oh, you see? What the fuck is that? Handmade doll. I am the cure. Yeah, so this is SCP-49. Uh, I'm fairly certain SCP-49, without looking it up, is a doctor from like the Middle Ages who wears that creepy mask. And I'm pretty sure whatever he touches instantly dies. But in his bag of tools, he reanimates corpses. And when he when he works on bodies, they come back to life for a little while. And that's just like, um, that's just like, that's what I'm talking about too. Like all these little references to the lore and it's just really neat. Anyway, I'm gonna keep playing. Stop talking, more playing, right? Oh my God, you almost got me. That scare probably scared the bejesus out of someone. So this will probably open when we're getting in that elevator and the guy's gonna like, he's gonna, he's gonna like shamble down here and it's gonna be really intense where we have to like shut the elevator in time. Get ready for that. Oh, they're taking over. Here we go. All right, scare me, scare daddy. Is that door gonna open or is he just gonna appear, I think? No, really? So he's just going to be on a floor as we go by, maybe? Or he'll just be at the top waiting for us, and then... Right, because this is our last memory. So something bad happens between there and where we are. Bella, do we really need you to tell us the truth here? What do you mean? telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. 
Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella, there was no black. Where did you find me? We found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. How did I get out of? That's impossible. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. No. What really happened? Don't send me back in there. Something bad happened. Really happened? Something really bad, probably. Uh, think carefully. I. I. I don't know. I. I survived. I think. I think I'm alive right now. Oh wait, reverse. Oh, okay, so we were just about to walk into 705. But there were no mannequins. So what actually happened? Where's the black box? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Are you gonna drink that and die? Oh! What? Why am I the mannequin? I'm a mannequin. Oh! Blood for blood. They sacrificed the king. Check. Check what? Fuck. Not again. And now I have to run. Oh my god! Why does he do that? Why? Okay. For some reason, the monster just like teleport sprints. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Hold on. I just gotta read this. Oh, okay. I'm... Pony station will have to be locked what? down. Oh my god. That much is for certain. Uh, Tyler Cooper's journal. The rehearsals have officially begun. Positively brilliant. My hands are shaking now as I write this experiment. The exciting avenues ahead. Um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, we have kind of uh, a new script. A strange thing, though. I noticed a certain something, a person perhaps, appear on the stage. He wasn't one of our original members, but, well, he's quiet and reserved. Pretty friendly. A tribute to Ambassador Algada. That is, must be the truth, the splendid, magnificent truth. Hang the traitors, one and one. Hang the betrayal and the ignorance together with the noose. Hang them all to alert the world. Cheers and cheers all around for our great king. Let us bask in the glory. Together we follow him, the blood of fools we offer to thee, hang king. The writing that follows is obscured by bloodstains. Okay. So I did actually... So, it seems like that enemy, like, will zoom towards you if you are looking at it, but as soon as you start running, it slows down and just follows right behind you or something. I can't quite figure out how, how it works or how I'm supposed to be getting away. It just seems like sometimes I get lucky and I get away and sometimes I don't. I'm really not sure. It's really wonky, though. What I do know is that it's super wonky. That's what I know. Again. Where are they heading? I don't know, but I assume we're gonna follow. Where have all those 
volunteer is gone. Pretty sure they all hung themselves. Act 1. The king of Trinculo passes away, and the king's brother, Gonzalo, succeeds him as the new king. At their coronation, the drunken queen confesses that she colluded with Gonzalo to kill the old king and hang his body from a tree. The queen goes on to confess that the great nobleman Antonio is in fact the son of the old king and as such has legitimate claim to the throne. Antonio scoffs at this, but upon returning to the inn, he meets the ghost of the old king who confirms everything the queen has said. Blood we offered, the hanged king we served. I served my king with my blood. Spooky. Again, even with the jankiness of that monster for whatever reason, this is still super good. And this is only the second. And I keep forgetting. That's the other thing. Remember, we started this. We started this all the way back when we were driving the truck. Remember, we're actually reviewing the records in the room. And this is only the second story. That is a lot of hanged bodies. I think I found out where all the extras went. It's like a really fucked up Christmas tree. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. This is the ending of their performance. Yeah, I'd say so. The hanged king's tragedy. Oh, that appears to be my noose. Oh, well, thank you, Floor. That's awfully convenient of you. This is... I can't put this on YouTube. There's no fucking way that I can put this on YouTube. Not after all those videos from all those creators came out talking. I'm going to have to blur this entire fucking thing. There's no way. Oh boy. This fucking dude. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, we got the shittiest job. We're going to send one person down to SCP-701. Good luck. Yeah, what a good idea, guys. Let's just send one person down. I'm sure she can handle everything that needs to be done. I'm sure everything here will be fine. Um. How erotic. Sacrifices head and seek redemption with his blood. Kill him! Kill him! Yeah. Yeah, kill him. Oh boy. I'm a mana queen. I don't know, but this is rad. Yeah, you think we need to leave right now? Dude, this is awesome. I don't want to leave. We're a mannequin. Everyone's fighting in super lo-fi. They're fighting in like 10 frames a second. This is, by the way, a perfect example. This is basically right here, a perfect example. And it encapsulates excellently Nintendo's online services right here. 10 frames a second. You're attacking the enemy, but you're not sure if you're hitting. Someone lags out and someone wins. It's perfect. Not spooky at all. Oh, did we just get hit? We're a mannequin, though. Oh, we're not a mannequin. E. Wait, we got stabbed, but we are maybe a mannequin. I don't know. At least we got a sweet dagger to take with us. I don't see a knife in us, so we're probably fine. Yeah, kick him. We'll be fine. Why are you so mad at me? E! Punch his little mannequin face! 
rip out his mannequin eyes. Okay, that was a little much. We can do it. Yeah, we sure do. Dude, this is awesome. This is not scary. This is awesome. This is what horror games should be. Right here. This is so insanely unique. I love the five frames a second that all this stuff is running at. It's just such a cool effect. Oh, of course. Sorry, you guys are obviously in the middle of something that I just walked in on. That's my bad. Oh, should I do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. You just step back. Watch this. Stab him. Oh, did we just stab ourselves? With my blood, I serve my king. I serve... Yeah, I serve the king by stabbing him. With my blood... I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Do it. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Do it, yeah. Fucking get after it. With my blood, I serve my king. Oh, we stabbed, we stabbed that guy? Oh. There was a noose, though, that was just for us. That's my noose. It's, unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative. But you need to let her it's just like those people that found their hole. This hole was made for me. This noose oh. was made for me. Let's go, then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. Yeah, we're the black box. I mean, that's right. She is now the black box. You got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. Is, she, is her face, like, fucked up? Does she look weird? Why is she wearing a, ja why is she wearing a jacket instead of a hospital gown? I don't think she's just going to be okay. I don't think she comes back from this one. Oh, right. The black box has been properly contained at site 105 and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. Right. I forgot that we had been doing this. Uh, okay, now I have to... The data dragon effect will drag it to the archive system on the right. Boom. 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 Yeah, so this, oh my god, yeah, so this is, like, straight out of the SCP wiki. Um, and this is how that stuff, they're basically telling the story of how the SCP wiki is being made. Because we took the audio recordings, and we put them into text, and we redacted, you know, specific parts, etc., and then this is how the wiki gets written. And this is the story of how that stuff gets done. Which is, by the way, like so fourth wall breaking, so fucking meta that it's unreal. Okay, this is the perfect place to wrap up. If I could wrap up. Yeah. Let's go back to the main menu. This game, I am so happy that I bought this. This is so, so, so well done. Way beyond what I thought. I thought that this was just going to be like a collection of a couple of stories loosely connected. 
that are like, hey, this is kind of SCP. But this is so much better than what I thought that this was going to be. Like, by leaps and leaps and bounds better. Um, and this just came out either today or yesterday. Uh, but yeah, everything from how they are, you know, the setting of the game, how everything is voiced, the, uh, the locales, like, it's just so well done. And the fact that they tell the entire narrative through the lens of you being an archivist, so you're going through all these different materials, it's like, that's, it's so fucking good. They just, every decision that they seem to have made so far has been top notch. This will easily, if it continues like this, easily, this will be one of my favorite horror games I think ever made, because it's just so well done. It is above and beyond better than most any indie game that we play, right? I mean, even if you just looked at, you know, the setting, the price, the voice acting, and the scares so far, it's just, it's, they're not even in the same ballpark as most other indie games that are coming out right now. Not even close. And I think I paid like $14 for this. It was nothing. Um, just super well done. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, burn bright, everybody.